Tarzan of the Apes, brought to you from off the pages of Edgar Rice Burroughs' romantic novel. Down, everybody. Down in the bottom of the boat. Snipe, you limey swab. Drop that Drop, oh, hey, my. Yeah, hate this one. You fool, Yon. Don't antagonize. There's two holes in the boat already, Yon. That's bad, isn't that? And I can't swim with that crew shooting at me in the water. Or me neither. But at these, snipe. Snipe. Yes. If you kill me, if, if, <laughs> ain't that a good one? I've only been trying with you, I have. But I can quit the popular hole. When you do, Snipes, who'll navigate the ship? I will. I. You will. You. Why, you can't even keep her on a straight course. You can't read a chart. You couldn't take a bearing to save your life. You navigate a ship. Why, you? Well, that changes the situation, eh, my fine sailors? Bunch of land lovers. Wharf rats. Scum. No, easy, you Easy. Easy ain't the way to handle rats. Wait till I get aboard. Lay down those guns. Quick now. I'm going up the ladder. If one man has a gun in his hand when I get aboard... I'll do something that ain't been done for years. I'll kill you all. As soon as she gets up on deck... Yes, we'll pull away, head for the shore. But they'll shoot. Not if we're quick enough. Professor, can you row? I don't know. I haven't for years. Not since college. Nor have I. Uh, how about you, Belinda? I couldn't say. I... I never tried. Anyway, let's grab the oars at the first chance and keep pulling to the left. No, my beauties. Uh, no, Chief, no. What did you call me? I mean, Captain, I... That's better. So you want to kill me? Shoot me? Oh, no, sir. Strike me pink, sir. I was only spilling. Spilling, eh? Well, so am I. Oh! oh. Now, they're finding among themselves. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid I, I'm i not too much good. Never say die, Archimedes. Uh, oh, perhaps we'll get far enough away. Can I, can I do anything, anything at all to help? Uh, yes. Uh, take that rifle. Keep your head below the gunwale. If you see a suspicious move... Shoot, and to kill. Oh, but I can't. I, I can't Are shoot. You, you must, dear. If you don't kill them first, why, they'll kill us. All right. But I... They've seen us. Will I, will I shoot? Uh, not yet. Uh, uh, that fellow by the ring. He, he's raising no. his gun. Shoot. Uh, uh, did you get him? I, I don't know. Pull. Pull, fella. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Daddy. Daddy, are you hurt? Uh, no, dear. Uh, uh, that one came through the boat. Raised my knee. Again, Jane. That one on the after wheelhouse. My God. The bullet was breaking the water like hail. My God. Water. Coming into the boat. They hit us again. Yes, but if they don't hit us again. Pull, Philander. Pull. I am pulling. What do you think I'm doing? You are pulling. Pull. Why, we are almost a shot. And you beat the boat and get behind the rocks. I'll get out. I'll get behind the boat and help push. You'll get out behind the rocks, eh? I won't. You've got to save the boat. Out. Out, all of you. On the next wave, keep her ashore. Uh, all together. No! Meanwhile, on the beach, we come on Tarzan, the apes, Tracy. The last wrench pulls Tracy clear of the quicksands, throws the apes back. Tarzan leaps to his feet, springs to Tracy's side. His torn, bleeding fingers work feverishly to free the captain from the tangled vine. The apes, their attention drawn from the game of pulling Tracy free, centers on Tracy himself, Delph. They start forward. Tarzan glances up, yells to them to go back to the jungle. They stop, but only for a moment. Their long arms swing forward. Closer, closer, closer yet they come. Tracy, stunned, racked with pain, only partly conscious struggles. The apes see the movement, start forward. Again Tarzan calls to them to go back. A jerk frees the vine from Tracy. Tarzan slips into his shoulders. A glance shows him that retreat to the jungle is cut off. He starts to run, heads for the sea. The apes follow quickly. They're gaining. 
Tarzan's double burden forces his feet into the soft sand, but he struggles on. The distance between them lessens. The apes are dangerously close. Tracy stirs, opens his eyes, sees the apes, knows Tarzan can never make it. Put me down, put me down. Tracy shouts. Tarzan understands the meaning, if not the words. Puts Tracy on his feet, points to the sea, then wheels around, arms outstretched, face to face with the nearest of the apes. They stop. This is different. Again that shout to go back. Some do. Some stay where they are. Not so Turcots. Biggest of the tribe and Tarzan's enemy. He comes steadily, stealthily, cunningly forward. The ape growls, reaches forward, lips curling, fangs bared. The bristling hair on the bull neck stands out, muscles bulging. Tarzan again commands. The ape leaps. Tarzan jumps to one side, turns, springs, lands on the brute's neck. Turcotts growls, throws himself backwards, back on the sand. Tarzan leaps clear. The ape is up on his feet, lunges. Tarzan reaches for his knife. The ape watches, hesitates. Tarzan leaps, every muscle tense. The right knee drawn up, fists doubled, head down, shoulders hunched. All his weight, his tremendous strength behind the bended knee. Pull the ape's stomach. The ape falls, doubled up, all the wind knocked out of him. Tarzan yells his triumph, bounds away, up the shore he goes. He springs into the lower branches of a silver tree. Hand over hand, he climbs up into the higher jungle terrace. A glance through the foliage shows him Tracy, well on his way, swimming to the steamer. He fills his lungs with a sigh of satisfaction. Good to be back in the treetops again. The raucous screeching of unseen parrots and the tangled branches overhead is music to him. He lifts himself clear of a brilliant emerald whip snake, dozing in a patch of golden sunlight, drops to the trail again, and swings into the well-worn path through the matted labyrinth of jungle green. With the shot, the jungle noises stop. Tarzan hangs from a branch, still, tense, ears strained, listening. Tarzan's heart beats fast. The sounds, the sounds come from the hut, his hut. Anger seizes him. Are these hairless ones from the thing that floats upon the water coming to his hut? He moves forward, quickly, silently, gathers speed, flashes through the branches with the speed of a bird. Tarzan reaches the familiar clearing. Below is the hut, his hut. He glances toward the beach, sees Jane, her father, Clayton, and Philander, Headed in the direction of the hut. Don't get so far ahead of us. Then why don't you come on? All of you. He drops silently, swiftly, cautiously through the branches, lifts the latch on the door, opens it, and enters. Standing in the summer gloom, lightened only by the darting rays of sunlight as they filter through the lacy leaves. Thoughts, feelings, Inexpressible longing surge up in him. He glances at the bare wall, the rude cupboard, the rough-hewn table. Emotions, tumultuous, the primitive sense of possession stirs in his breast. The door with its latch has always been a barrier against the beasts of the jungle, but against M-E-N. He runs his hand across the rough, uneven planking of the table. Days, weeks, months he has sat there, laboring over that primer with its childish pictures of a M-A-N and an A-P-E. Here, with stubby pencil and yellowed paper, he had laboriously struggled with those bugs as he thought of the alphabet, putting into words... The things he couldn't say. He had taught himself that he was a M-A-N, not an A-P-E. In this hut, he had found that intangible, that instinctive something that made him different from the apes. That indefinable quality, breeding. And now, again he glanced about, 
Was he to lose it all? Tarzan hears the voices. He goes to the window. Like a blow, the realization that his hut, his home, is to be invaded drives him to sudden action. Taking a pencil and paper from the shelf, he prints a message. And then, remembering the little shiny thing on the silver chain, he takes the locket containing Lord and Lady Greystoke's pictures, hangs the chain about his neck, and lifting the paper with its message, opens the door quietly, fixes the message to it with a pointed stick, and leaves the hut. 